Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. So please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, epic mail call from Rocky Instincts. Um, I ordered four kilos of spoiled Aussie Flint about a month ago and um, it just arrived. Um, had a little bit of trouble with it because, yeah, I ordered it a month ago and it a couple of, oh, about... About three days ago, four days ago, I contacted them and said, um, look, it's been a month. I haven't received any notifications that my order has not been sent or anything. And, um, yeah, they got back to me and said, um, it's been done now and we're sending it. Well, anyway, uh, it turned up today. So, yeah, um, they got onto it and got it done. I don't know what was going on, but, um, yeah... Obviously, they were having a little bit of trouble with their orders or whatever. But anyway, neither here nor there. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I wasn't really hanging for it. I've got enough stone here to not worry about it. I um, The reason why I ordered it is I've I found I've got down, because I've now that I'm making my own strikers and that, I've been giving away my stores of flint Um to people and I think especially with my strikers I like to include a couple of pieces of Aussie flint to with each striker and just so that other people from other countries get a sampling of what we have in Australia um we're not known for our flint and I think that's what we should what I, I, I like to do, I like to show them the quality of the flint in Australia. From all experiences, and I've, I've, I've had about 20-odd 20, 20 kilos of the stuff now, um, it's not bad flint. Um, it's, it's really good flint, actually. Um, yeah, easily comparable to standard English flint. Um, I wouldn't put it up there with Norfolk flint, certainly, but standard flint um yeah no dramas whatsoever I'd, I'd i'd compare it to that the shirt the other shirt american shirt and that um yeah it's comparable to that as well um he was also because of the amount of time it took um he included a piece of fatwood australian fatwood um yeah big chunk beautiful thanks so much for that mate um very much appreciated obviously i'm going to um feature that on fatwood friday so yeah fantastic thank you so much yeah just i need to show you obviously sparks very well um some nice sized spalled flint i asked for four kilos of spoiled flint he did include a couple of big bigger pieces but i wanted most of it all broken down into um workable shards because um yeah i don't want to have to spoil it myself um it all sparks really well um i've got a lot of obviously i've got about probably 150 200 kilos of quartzite on hand but it's called flint and steel for a reason and i love working with flint so that's why i, I buy it um i'm never going to say i i won't buy stone again um that's silly um i love stone i love having a lot on hand so when i get frustrated with quartzite which i do occasionally i have to admit um I, I like to be able to grab some flint and use it because I know it's reliable. I know I can get sparks from it. So, yeah, um, that, that, that's my reasoning behind it. Um, yeah, I, I, I just like to have it. So I'm going to get a, another one of these boxes. I'm going to put it out here, uh, one of these planted boxes containers and i'll have this and that container four and a half kilo four or five kilos of flint out here and that'll be my working flint that'll be out here so that's what i'll do there um 
Yeah, I've, I've saw this here too. I don't know what it is. Um, it sparks really well. I thought it was a bit of cortex, but cortex doesn't spark like that. So yeah, that's really nice. I don't know what it is. It's very strange. But that's um, it's not flint as far as I know. I've never seen white flint. It's beautiful. Chalcedony maybe. But anyway, yeah, that's going in my rock collection because that's um, not flint as far as I know. So, yep, yeah, beautiful piece of stone. Sharp. The sparks really well and the edges seem very, very robust. It's not chipping out like... Yeah, so... And you could use the edges as... thing. Anyway, yeah, rambling. Um, yeah, beautiful piece of stone there. But um, that, that just came in there, in, in, in with it. So yeah, there's lots of nice little workable shards, bigger pieces, yeah, yeah, nice palm-sized pieces. These are the pieces I like. I always, always liked the bigger pieces personally. That's what I, I, I go for those sort of pieces. That's me. But um, yeah, because you can always spool them down to smaller sizes as they blunt out. But yeah. Excellent, excellent stuff. Lots and lots of good gear there. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you my latest um, bit of gear from Rocky Instincts. Um, yeah, thanks for that, mate. Um, that's fantastic stuff. Nice black, a lot, lots of black Aussie flint and a bit of grey. So, yeah, I haven't really seen the difference between the two as far as sparking ability goes. But all sparks about the same. We'll share the sparks. So, yeah, I've um, at least got a bit now here. So if I do um, send some more stuff over to friends and that, that I'll be able to send a little bit more of Aussie Flint over to them as well. So, yeah, that's, that's my main thinking with it. Um, yeah, I always like to include a few, few nice, nice pieces, sizes of that, or a bit bigger, um, just to... Um, give a sampling of Aussie Flint. Um, I think it's it's good that they get to see what we have here, the stone we have to work with, if you can get it. Um, Rocky Instincts is about the only place I know that sells Aussie Flint. Anyway, and yeah, I want to again say thanks for this. Um, yeah, that's very much appreciated. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carve some of that up and um, do that for Fatwood Friday and um, post that on my um, Fatwood Appreciation group in on Facebook. Thanks for watching.